Hey everybody, welcome back to Castle Story. So it's, uh, it's been a little while since I've played this game, and uh, kind of salty, because I just recorded this video, and it uh, turns out I wasn't actually recording anything, and I have to redo it. So, by the title, you probably guessed that uh, it's a challenge again, and we're not building any stone walls to defend. That is the challenge. Probably not the best thing to start out with, having not played the game for a while. But, uh, I think we'll be alright, for a couple waves at least. Anyway, I'm ready again. Here we go, again. Uh, we need stuff, so let's get stuff. Also, let's turn the camera editor, or editor camera on. Ugh, <sighs> I'm not happy. We did so well, or I was doing so well at the, uh... Or in the, no, no, see, I'm too angry, I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. I was doing so well! In the video that never happened because I didn't hit record and uh, it was a good start everything was going super and here we are again not doing that so at least I'm a little refreshed seeming I just recorded 20 minutes of this so I, I do know what my game plan is I do know how I want to set things up so no walls means things are gonna be difficult defending is gonna be difficult and I have a strategy here, and it's probably not going to work. I could use stockpiles to defend. I don't know how that would turn out. Probably not great. I could also use these stone, or stone logs. Yeah, that makes sense. I can actually use logs to defend as well with walls, but log walls aren't great. Because uh, you hit the bottom of them, and then everything atop falls. So, you break. they break through one, and they walk right in. Logs aren't the best. I could use logs to slow them down, like put a wall of logs and then nothing, then a wall of logs so they have to jump over it. Could work. But what I'm going to do, at least at the start, is trenches. We're going to dig a trench all the way down here. This is going to be the first cutoff. We have this opening and then these two openings as well. So we're going to dig a hole here. If you look, there's a decent chunk of map, so there's a few spawn points over here probably that... Digging this out will definitely benefit, so I have to go all the way around and come through one of these choke points. So if we can eliminate that altogether, things become easier. And then, I guess, the game plan is just to separate ourselves from the entire... From everything. So if we cut through this entire island, <laughs> we win. Although, eventually they could dig up this way and down, so we do have to, like, go completely through. Anyway, I'm not concerned about that. We probably won't survive that long in this series anyway, so, uh... I'm guessing... 10 waves, maybe? When the first upgrade hits of, uh, Bricktrons, then, or Corruptrons, then we're, we're super screwed. When they evolve, that's what my concern is. Are right, we gonna dig that rock out. We just need stone for furnaces. Like, we're not, the whole, it's, the challenge isn't don't get stone brick, it's don't build stone walls. So, we are gonna be using stone brick for furnaces, and then for the forge and altar as well. Let me get some of this other crap set up. Good. We're going to need a loom. So we'll get a loom over here. We'll get a workbench right... Is that facing the right way? Oh, maybe I should... Hold on. I'm going to rotate that. I usually have them facing like this, although I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep them facing out. If we face them in, then they won't have to, like, turn around to do stuff. But at the same time, since they're facing out, they can easily walk the stuff to the weapons rack instead of walking around it. So it's... I guess it ends up being the same. Alright, fingers crossed that they, uh... Decide to... Oh, hello, lag. They decide to finish one furnace before starting the other. Because, uh, I bet you they don't do that. I bet you they put three bricks down on this one, and then the last brick they're going to put right here. Alright, wait for it. Wait for it. Come on, who are you? Fur it. Don't be dumb, fur it. Wow, they use their little brains. Speaking of fur it, who do we have here? We have fur it, red, wat, molly, and umbriel. I feel like we've had a couple of these before, but it's been so long. There's no way I'm going to remember. Let's get some iron ingots started here. We also need leaves, that crap. Was not paying attention to that. That's fine. Plants. Whoop. Good. Put those there. And that way we can get... Let's go with two archers. Two archers and a knight. Which means we're going to need a forge. I'm going to try to avoid getting any... Uh, halberd ears. At the start of this. They don't want to start that second furnace. 
Just kidding. They did. <laughs> the second I mention it is the uh, second that they do it. Also, guess who didn't start a timer this time round? Amazing. So last time I tried to record this, I forgot to record the video. This time I forgot to start a timer, so I have no idea how long I've been going on for. I guess we'll just do the first two waves, and then that should be just over 20 minutes. Because first wave is 12, then we wait 8, 20, yeah, that should be good. Perfect. We don't even need the timer. So at the end of wave 2, that's when I'll call the end of the video. Let's see, we need two of those, which means we have the rope. Do we have the fabric? Not yet. We need more plants. We can turn off... Or do we still need... No, we still need stone. See, look. They put the one stone brick on the forge and not the furnace. Aren't they just the smartest? I accidentally queued up a glass brick there, but we're going to keep that there. Because we will need it for the machine shop. We just need a little more stone. You. What? No! Oh my god. He just put that bag of stone on the furnace for that one glass block instead of putting it there to finish that furnace so we can do more stuff. Nice. Good. Now finish that. Or don't. We don't we don't need the furnace at all actually. We actually just we don't need There you go. That was a lie. We do need the furnace. Make the furnace. Are you still chopping logs? You are. Which I guess is fine cuz we need them for arrows. Okay, whatever. Is that glass brick done? The second that thing gets done, I think... I don't even know what I think anymore. Oh, that's what I'm going to do. Since we have as much stone brick as I think we'll need, we're going to turn off auto-convert. That way we don't waste any more stockpile space with it. I probably don't even need them collecting this for now. We really don't need any more, yeah, of that stone. Goodbye. Oh, we get another Bricktron. Who is it? Green. What a name. We want this. Will we get it in time? Yeah, probably not. Let's be honest here. Probably not. We're, we're not even getting the next archer done yet. They're working on the hat now. Oh my gosh, because they're too busy collecting this crap. And leaves. Although we do need more leaves. I could, you know what we're going to do? As much as I want them to keep gathering this stuff, it's not a necessity right now. And we have five minutes till the first wave hits, so... I want more than just one archer. So focus on getting leaves, so we can make more of the good stuff. Fabric and rope. Good, 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 good. That way we can get arbalists soon. Machine shop. Put that there. I don't know how I'm going to do sentinels. Um, if you remember our first challenge where we did no sentinels, we didn't last long at all. So I feel like sentinels are a necessity when it comes to trying to defend, at least in hard mode. Uh, I'm sure people, there are good enough people out there who can do it without it. I... The problem is, we can't use stone to put, build defenses. So yeah, I can put them on the ground, but they're going to get destroyed very quickly. So, I feel like they're going to be worth it, but we just have to figure out a system to make them work. I could put them up, like, on these hills, but that's probably the way to do it. If we somehow manage to dig through here before they get here and then just focus this hill. We could put sentinels up there. Watch, they're going to come up dig and cause a big problem. So not only would they dig up this way to break our sentinels, they'd be up here and they can run down our staircase, which we would have to have back here. It's not like we'd even have a wall so they can run up. I'm thinking way too far into the future. Let's just focus on beating these first few waves. And then see what happens. So, I'm going to build... Wow, we got the machine shop up already? Jeez. We're making... We're doing better than we were the first video, which makes sense. I've already done this once before. Nice clean base setup. Let's get another weapons rack for the arbalists. Good. And then I'm going to set the trench up to be dug right here. This trench is going to cause problems. I'll tell you why in a second. Let me just finish putting it in. Excuse me. There we go. What are they complaining about? I saw everyone say something at once, but I don't know what they were saying. We're going to rotate the staircase, make sure it's nice and safe. Okay, so right there, not much not much of a problem. Now, however, we have a problem. That problem is the staircase ends here. 
and there's still a lot more being dug. So we're going to lose a Bricktron in the process with this, most likely, which should be fine. We'll make him jump off or fall to his death. He'll come back, and as long as he's on this side, it's going to be good. So we probably don't even need to dig it that thick. Can I make it skinnier? I can. That will be good enough. Awesome. So get that done. What else do we need? Why did you guys stop? You need a hat. We don't have any iron ingots. Well, why don't you guys make some iron ingots? How about that? We have two minutes till the next wave hits. We're making we're making good progress here. We'll be fine. We'll be fine with what we have, but we only have one cog. Oh, that's because we ran out of ingots. I should probably get them mining again. I'm not concerned. We're doing so well. I'm not concerned. And I'll get this done even faster now. That's a smaller quarry. Then we can just start focusing these sides. And I still don't know the best strategy here. Hmm. I have a feeling most of them are going to come through this way and not this way. Even if they spawn right here, they're more likely than not going to run down this way. So, we focus on digging a trench here after we dig this one. And then we focus all our defenses in here. I think that's the way to do it. So we're not going to bother doing anything here. Although, we're not going to have much defenses. Our defenses are going to be our Bricktrons dressed in armor. That's it. Maybe some Sentinels on the ground. I don't know. Those clowns are digging the trench. Good. What's it looking like here? Are we going to get one Arbalist out before... Probably not, because... No, we have plenty of fabric and rope. What are you guys doing? Thirty seconds. Let's go. I want that arbalist done. Quick. Hit that hat with a hammer. That's that's how you make hats, everybody. Red knows what's up. You put a piece of fabric on a table and you whack it with a hammer. Boom. Hat. Boom. Arbalist. All right. Where are they coming from? Wait for it. I didn't hear any noise, so probably over here. There they are. Three of them. And of course, this is... Good thing we're digging this trench. It's not going to do much now, but... Oh, it's going to do a little bit now. All right, you guys get out of the trench. Oh my god. What? Why? Why did you bring those resources with you? Now you're probably saying, oh no, he could have dug them out. No, he didn't. We just got through the dirt layer. He brought those, just like Umbriel's doing right now, and Wat wants to keep on doing. They, for some reason, take these resources with them, which does not help at all. Stop doing that. So dumb. Call arms. Let's go. Get dressed, you fools. They're literally right at our doorstep. So uh, if you could stop being dumb and get in position, that would be grand. Not exactly where I wanted to be, but... Oh, he's just running right in. Yeah, definitely not exactly where I wanted to be. Although this is good. They're focusing on our crystal and on our dudes. As Wat just gets railed in the back of the head with a rock. He's getting punched, but it should be fine. He'll be fine. Good. Look at this. Everything's great. Okay, Wat, move away. Furret! Why would you bring iron ingots with you? To the, to the trench. How are you going to be helping anything? Unbelievable. Now back to work. Red, start doing work again. Fire it! And I mean, it's fine because we're not collecting stone or anything, but if he comes across brimstone or iron, he's not going to dig them out. Why? Because he has a stack of ingots in his hands. <laughs> so dumb. <sighs> Whatever. Whatever, I can't be bothered. Let's get another one of those. We have the stuff for it. We want more ingots. We constantly want ingots. However, we don't want to keep this on repeat because we still want to monitor our brimstone as well in case we want sentinels. I've had comments being left like, oh, why don't you just keep uh, talk, or why don't you keep it on loop? Just do nothing but create ingots because they will burn through all our brimstone and I'd rather have some brimstone over for sentinels if I want it. So that's why I micromanage that. We are going to want another night kit as well. Good. Everything's great. Everyone's going to have a suit of armor at wave two, which is going to be good. 
Bert, you're a disappointment. Red, you're you're getting to there. You're getting to be a disappointment, bud. Also, they all look look at all their faces. They're all like meh. Oh, Red's angry. It's almost like they know. No. Wat doesn't know anything. Wat has that I just farted face. Come here, Wat. Look at him. What are you doing, Wat? Look at that face. <laughs> that face. Yeah, you can tell. You can tell he just farted. He's not ashamed. He's proud of it. So, this is going to be interesting. Why? The trench is deep enough to where they can't just hop down it. They have to leap, and there's no going back. So will they act differently? They might turn around. I mean, they might just jump down and come up the stairs. It's probably what they will do. But it's different. So, next wave might be interesting. Don't know how the Corruptrons will act. All right, we can finally get rid of that thing. Probably should have done that a little while ago. Let's get two more of those made up. I should probably mine the rest of this iron as well. While I'm thinking about it. And the next patch of iron is right there. It's not that far away. It's far enough away, though. Where's the brimstone over there? Yeah. Don't like that. <laughs> but I guess we don't have a choice. And we definitely can't get any... We can't get this stuff. We kind of kind of cut that off, didn't we? <laughs> Whoops. That's fine. We don't need it. We just need the bare minimum, and then uh, we're fine. No, we're not. But we're fine. I mean, we're not. But we're fine. Two Arbalists, two Knights, two Archers, six Bricktrons. We're fine. We'll probably get another Bricktron before the next wave hits. So if we can get him to be an Arbalist or something, that'd be pretty great. Get two more Cogs made up. Good. Everything's going according to plan. Three minutes till next wave starts. They are doing work. Look at them go. Imagine if all of them were focused on nothing but the trench this whole time. That'd be so good. It'd be done. But uh, we still need them to kind of focus on things around here. Look how neat this base is. Nice and organized. Isn't it beautiful? It's a work of art. Forget building awesome structures. Like this thing. I guess these. For broken ruins, it looks nice. <laughs> Forget building castles and castle story. Look at this base management here. It's great. I love it. Yeah, look at this. I kind of broke my own rules, didn't I, by picking this map? No stone fortifications. What's this? This is what we call stone fortifications. Aren't I the worst? <laughs> I didn't build these, though. These are part of the map. And we definitely won't be utilizing these at all because they're so far away. That this will not help us. There's no part of this that'll help us. Maybe we put all our corrupt or bricktrons here. I keep on doing that. I was doing it all the first time I tried recording this. I was mixing corruptrons and bricktrons up the whole time. And I'm doing it again this time. If we pile all our bricktrons on this island, break the bridges, they'll live. But our crystal will die. So probably not the best strategy. Two minutes. They're all gonna get stuck down there, you watch. We're gonna have one. We're gonna have one Bricktron not stuck. I just have a bad feeling about them all being piled up down here. Oh, look at this. We have a couple of them carrying brimstone, iron, and then of course we have one genius. Let me guess it's Wat. No, it's Furt. Furt's carrying leaves. Clown. What a clown. Alright, we got all our. We have. No, we have more armor kits than we need. Like I said, we should get another Bricktron here. I thought we were going to. I feel like we should have. Huh. Maybe not. Maybe, like, right after this wave ends. Because the Bricktrons are going to power it up. I are Corruptrons! See, I did it again! Oh, man. Maybe I'm on the wrong side. Maybe I should be working the Corruptrons. No! No! No, you fools! What? Oh, no. No, what are you doing? Get out of there. See, I told you. I told you this was going to happen. They just murdered Wat. Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah, dig him out. No, dig him out. Do it yourself, then. I hope doing that didn't break something. 
Oh my god. I can't believe they committed murder already. I was expecting it to happen at some point, just not so soon. Oh my god. Oh look, we got a new one. Who is it? Yellow. No, just call the arms. Get, do not go back in there. Freaking idiots. Well, never mind about that whole having, uh, getting that brick tron at the right time because, uh, <laughs> I can't believe that. I should believe it, but I can't believe it. All right, where are they at? Where are they at? They're over there. We got five of them. Six of them. I lied. They're not taking it easy on us, even though we just lost a brick tron. <laughs> Two smalls, five, or four mediums. So we're going to put them over here. Let's see if my theory is correct. It looks like they're going to walk right down here. Good. Oh no, they have the high ground. Guess what, idiots? We have the low ground. What are you going to do about it? Get them nice and organized. Look at this. Look at this defense. It's perfect. You fools! They came down to the low grounds. Yeah, go ahead. Throw rocks. No, don't do it, yellow. Yellow. There you go. Just eat the damage. It's fine. Yellow shields are going down pretty quickly. This is wave two. Little concerned about that. Perfect. Exactly what I wanted to have happen happen. This guy's just broken. He won't <laughs> He's trying to throw rocks, but he can't figure it out. Poor guy. Uh, I guess he's just gonna settle on punching him. Doesn't matter, he's dead and we survived two waves! With only one Frictron dead. Not even to the waves, to uh, their own stupidity. Back to work, let's get a broom over here. Hey, look who's back, everybody! It's wet! Clean that mess up. No! Do not put a quarry there. <laughs> that was supposed to be a broom. Where's the broom? There's the broom. Clean this mess up. I'm gonna end this one here, though. So far, so good, and hey, look, I remember to hit record this time. Fantastic. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Leave a like and share the video if you enjoyed. That helped a lot. Subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you next time.